So crew, we have figured out that by uh, that there is a way to adjust the energy level and that will allow us to avoid the electrons. Okay, we don't know what that way is right now. So um, I've been showing you this all along, but now I will be very vocal about showing you this. Here's our current energy level. Shields are at six, guns are at four, helm is at one, one out of control, speed's at eight, um, turn to phase six. So now let's move the ship and we'll go on from there. We're heading close to this nucleus. Um, Cowboy, <laughs> Cowboy has a thing where he likes to go really fast. He's going to either have to turn or slow down. Uh, ideally, we'd want to be orbiting this, right? Because then we can do scrambling very easy. Um, but it's nice we're about to enter a new round. Uh, after this phase, and that's going to clear off a lot of usage markers and allow um, Merker to shoot the missile that he wants to shoot uh, to see if that does anything to the nucleus. All right, the phase is complete. I thought I'd let you know what everyone did. Um, there's what the energy is looking at like right now. Shields are at seven, guns are at two, helm is at level one. Um, Guns went down two. One, because uh, Capazoid took a shot at the nucleus, which did nothing that you can see. Um, Tic Tac moved, took another energy from the guns and added it to shield. She let, wants the ship to be well protected. Um, she knows how things are going with the damage control uh, a little firsthand. Uh, Commander Red and Snugbug kind of switched positions. Commander Red went over to the helm to help Cowboy drop the speed down. That was important because otherwise next phase the ship's going to crash into the nucleus which would not be good now at speed one its next phase is going to get right next to the nucleus um so you'll probably want to be turning uh hopefully you don't get shot by electrons however because cowbot is damaged i i realize um he's down to two hit points so if an electron slams into there or into there or from up here or from down here <laughs> um cowbot could be in big trouble uh, so Snugbug, even though he was hurt for only one, he went to the sick bay to fix himself up. Commander Red assisted with that um, with that maneuver, de deceleration maneuver, which was a tricky one. He had to drop it down two, um, and the speed the ship was going kind of fast. Uh, Merker, he's heading up to the missile bay to try and shoot some missiles next phase, um, and our scientists are preparing to scan. Um, after the turn, all these usage markers are going to go away, and scanning both your ship, and then maybe scrambling as well uh, will be much easier. So let's look at the energy readings as I tell you that no, there is no electron strike this, um, this phase. So let's go forward to turn three, phase one, and we'll move the ship one, because it's only speed six. If it was speed seven, it would go forward two and slam into it, um, and we'll go from there. Another phase has passed. A uh, missile has been fired. It hasn't hit yet. That's going to happen at the start of the next phase. Um, what happened? We had some, some energy bump ups from our engineers here. So our energy levels are going higher. Um, the ship did a cowbot with the, the help of Commander Red did a slick like turn decelerate maneuver. Uh, so he not only turned but he's slowing the ship down trying to get an orbit going. Um, the scrambling is looking good. I think I said you needed 80, so you're at 30 now. That's not bad. Um, and you have another question in your bank. Let's take a look at our energy level and everything. And da, 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 da. there is no electron attack this phase. Let's go to phase two. And it was pretty amazing, but Cowbot, with the, the help of Commander Red, and then later Snugbug, managed to get the ship into orbit. Went from speed 6 down to speed 2, um, all in one turn, which was pretty incredible. Um, Cow Cowbot, with uh, Commander Red's help, dropped it down from, I think, 6 to 2, or maybe it was 5 to 2, I don't even remember now. Um, and then Snugbug dro successfully dropped it down the, the other two points, which was... Very impressive. Great job, guys. Um, what else happened? Uh, we had some more energy pumpage. As you can see, our energy levels are high. Uh, Capazoid is prepared to f preparing to fire. Our scientists decided not to do another... Um, neither of them did another 
a, scan, a scramble or ship scan there, instead preparing for the next phase so that uh, you can make use of, of the, um, the lack of counters, you know. The, the, the more you use the science bay, the worse it is. Merker's running back to help just in case someone needs it. And, um, oh, and Chipak starting to, to fix up Cowbot. So let's take a look at things where phase, phase two of turn three, uh, shield level seven, gun level is five, helm level is four. Um, out of control is gonna go down after this, I guess. Uh, no electron attack. So I guess since I was gonna I was gonna just go three phases, but I think I'll go another one just because there hasn't been an electron attack. And if you're gonna try to deduce, even though you've got two questions now, um, it would help to see one where there is an electron attack. So maybe I'll go until there's an electron attack and then we'll stop. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but the missile did hit the nucleus. It was a pretty pretty spectacular um, electrical kind of explosion. There was like. Uh, electrified flames, um, kind of blue color. That was cool. Um, what else has happened? Um, things have been kind of quiet, actually, this phase. We're in phase three of turn three. Um, some more scrambling done. You're now at 37. Uh, Merker helped with that. So he ran down and was doing some science. Uh, got another question in your question bank, which is great. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, I forgot to do that. She was going to do a hull repair. Let's go ahead and roll that now. Not the best roll, um, but she'll add. So she's going to fix the hull. Let's see, that's a six. She got nine, 13, 15. Okay. Yeah, so she'll fix it nine. Um, Capsoid's still on guard. Um, these guys are just kind of, they're just preparing to, to be ready. Um, Cowbot's all fixed up. He managed to help his himself. Uh, now you're going to get shot by an electron. Let's look look at your energy levels. I know that's important to you. Shields are at seven. Guns are at five. And um, helm is at four. Okay. So um, we've made a very good criticism. Electrons should be able to hit from the top and bottom of the ship as well. So they will. I don't think I'm going to do that for other spaceships because other spaceships have mastered the art of shooting uh, like the this direction, you know, so that it's um, most effective. But the electrons have not mastered that art, so they're gonna roll a d6. You know, one, two, three, four, five will be from below, and six will be from above. Not that that's gonna matter really. Um, above and below are the same. One, two, three. So I apologize. It did. We didn't get to have um, a three-dimensional hit there, but. Okay, six dead on. That's God, gonna be these guys again. And the shields protected the ship from all the high dice except for one. So, so Chapaka the future is getting hit. Uh, 2d6 points of damage, and that's gonna also wreck this engine. Um, Eight points of damage, that's rough. That probably took him down. That's gonna be a medical emergency, people. And these guys are both gonna take 1d6. We'll start with Commander Red. That's gonna make him bounce around. He got a six. I wonder if he can re-roll that. I bet he can. And I'm gonna to have to actually have, have wow, another six. Okay, so I have some choices to make, I'm sure. Um, I'm gonna to have to put down the camera and look at everyone's relevant abilities and all that with in terms of taking damage. I'll come back and let you know what happened. All right, so our two pilot buddies, they were able to mitigate the damage with her luck. Chipak, both future and present, doesn't have any luck, however, so he is down for the count. We might have an interesting situation where uh, Chipak of, I guess this is the future, that's the present. Chipak of the present has to do something to fix his future self. Um, so we'll end it right there. You guys have three questions to ask. Um, you have some data. There's there's the hull and number of amount of scramble you have. Um, this is the energy readings when you got hit. It's going to go down now. And we're going to go up to um, phase four, turn three. Um, all right, all right, all right.
One last thing while you're thinking crew, I wanted to plant this in your head. You are going to be able to take on more crew types after this um, this uh, mission, if I guess if you survive. But you all have clones, so you'll survive. Um, well, no, but if you lose the ship, you won't sur you won't be able to take on more crew. You actually might have to lose some crew. But if you survive and the ship survives, you'll be able to take on, I think, at least one more crew, maybe another one. I'm, I'm not sure. It depends on what you get. But um, you did have, you did, someone, I forget who, upgraded your life support on the way here. Um, so you can take on one more crew. Be thinking about what that is so that the decision isn't such a surprise. I hope you can also think about um, what's causing these electron strikes so you can make it stop. It's, it's painful. It's painful.